if you can watch now um, the industry called gospel music today, you see that a lot of it is solely for the aggrandizement. It is for the awards. It is for the popularity. And we use gospel as, as, the, as the foundation, gospel music, but it, we're building all of this um, carnality on top of it. Who can get an award and who can get the, 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 the television spot and who's going to be on the televised award show and, and the like. And that becomes the goal. You go to the award shows now and you, and you, and you um, platform all of the gospel artists and all the new gospel music. And then you go to the reception afterwards and it's drinking in secular music. You got an open bar. They play nothing but secular music at a gospel award show. So this is this has become the norm because we've let down the guard. The the, the 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 guardians have let down the standard, and now there's another standard raised, where it's all according to what you think is right. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said, "There's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end of those ways are the ways of death." So that's where we find ourselves. We're singing a great message, but we're not living a great life. Mm. So the word to those who look up to you, respect you, who uh, believe in you, that may not know the way, like you say, the generation of today, mm -hmm. so that they can, if they're on that path, what would you say to them to abort that mission? Oh, man, there's so much to say, because there's so much to institute, and there's so much to dismantle. Yeah. And this generation has risen up that doesn't know God, really, in that sense. There's a lot to say. The first and foremost thing that I could tell anybody in the multiple generations that are underneath me is let Jesus Christ really be the Savior. Let him really be the one who sanctifies us. Let's learn what sanctification really is. Let's come out from among them and be separate from them and not touch the unclean thing. And, and he said, the truth, everybody says, you know, he, God is every, uh, we're all God's children. We're all God's children. That's not what Second Corinthians says. He says, only when you come out from among them and only when you're separate from them, he said, and then I will be a father to you. It's conditional. And then I will be a father to you. And then you will be my sons and daughters because you've come out from sin. You are living like me now in holiness. So we've got to get back to holiness, live like God, and stop making excuses for the carnality that we've held onto that we wanted. So guys, y'all seen pretty much from that video. Uh, Donald McClurdy, man, he's definitely was uh, definitely telling one of the truth. I grew up on some of his music. Uh, my grandma and my mother, they used to play his music still. Some of them to this day. I haven't heard any in a while, but I know I got one of his songs up on my list. But yeah, at the same time, uh, yeah, he was definitely telling the truth. Uh, these are one of the things that these people are doing. <clears throat> Like when I was talking about Dante Bowie and him partying on the, uh, party on the bus and jamming out to uh, Bad Bunny, and then you got what Kurt Franklin saying talking about the the the, uh, the line of limb gonna bow down and stuff, and so it's just all this dis disrespectful things that these people are out here doing. Uh, I do believe some of these you know so-called you know uh, Christian gospel singers they they have played a part in all this stuff, where they uh they they're, they're singing one thing about Jesus Christ, but then behind the scenes, they're drinking, they're smoking, they're doing all this other stuff behind the scenes that they know that they shouldn't be doing. And um, and this is just the truth. And I don't know why everybody get all in the comments and they like to defend stuff like this. All people fall short and all this stuff. No, it's a difference between falling short and just doing what you want to do. Uh, so, you know, that's just, that's just what it is. And people don't want to just take the honest truth about that. There's a difference between struggling and just doing what you just want to do. And because you want to get clout, because you want to have money, you want to have fame, you want to have all this other stuff. You start worrying about the numbers. You start worrying about this. You start worrying about that. And your mind is completely gone. Your mind is completely gone. And so uh, he was definitely right about this. It's, it's really good that he came and spoke this truth out so people can really see and really take heed to this that just because uh, a gospel singer is singing, but he can mention God up in the in in the in the music, but you don't know what God that he's talking about. They could be talk they can be talking about the the little G God, which is the God of this world. It may not be Jesus Christ. 
So, you know, people, you know, they're making songs for their own ways. And, uh, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm like, like with Kirk Franklin, there's always been something weird about him. So, you know, it's just, it's just crazy that the times that we are truly living in, but it's really good that he really spoke out about this, that, you know, that people can, can play, they can really play this thing out, especially if they have a bunch of fame and a bunch of people and money and cars, all this other stuff. They can really, because they have really big influence over thousands and millions of people. So they can, they can be singing one way. They can be in a pulpit singing, but then they be going to strip clubs. They can go to partying and, you know, on, 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 uh, uh, buses and stuff and just partnering out with different demonic you know celebrities that that lives all in that cult and stuff so it 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 just really do plays a big part of all that so you know you got the this is why we need a spirit of discernment to be able to show uh, to for God to be able to deal with us and let us know who is real and who is of him and who is not and people look at that as hateful but that's that's the way you God said he wished no man perish he don't want nobody to be deceived he don't want nobody to be deceived and so that's just the way it is. So uh, Donald McClary, I, uh, I applaud him for even doing a video like this, for telling the truth. Some may get it. Some may not. Some may believe it. Some may not going to believe it because they're, they're blind about the devil of this world. They're blind about the God, the little G God of this world. So they're not able to even function and really receive the truth. And when somebody's talking, because everybody be like, oh, that stuff is not real. All oh, that stuff is not that. They're real. They're real Christians. They're this and that. Just so blinded. They're so blinded from the truth. They rather believe a lie rather than believe the truth. But it just goes to show you the times that we are truly living in. That uh that the industry is not what everybody thinks. Folks think that they're just getting money and then that's it. But no, it, it, it comes with more than that. So you don't want to be deceived. You don't want to be deceived. This stuff, this is what it comes with. And so you just got to pick a choice who who you gonna serve. Are you going to serve God or are you going to serve mammon? But I'm going to tell you, mammon's going to leave you to death. Can't serve the things of this world and think you're going to make it to heaven. It's not going to happen. It's not going to work like that. You're either for Christ or you're against Christ. So it's just really something to think about. God bless you.